Al-Shabaab has been ranked as the deadliest group in Africa. A think tank linked to the U.S. Defense Department says the militants are responsible for more than half of all reported attacks carried out on the continent over the past 12 months. That's 4,834 people killed in the past year. Now, to put this into context, Al-Shabaab basically launched an average five attacks every single day over the last year, most of them in Mogadishu or the surrounding rural areas. Nearly 3,000 terror attacks have been rec uh, reported across Africa in the past 12 months, and that's a 38% increase on the same period a year before. The militants have intensified their wave of violence despite increased U.S. drone strikes and joint counterterrorism operations by the African Union and Somali Army. Well, let's bring you more on this now. We're joined by CGTN's Abdullah Zizbilo, live with us from Mogadishu. Just this latest information seems like quite a blow to the government, doesn't it, Abdullah Ziz? Of course, as they continue to try and fight this terror group. At this stage, has there been any reaction from authorities? Well, Lindy, as you've put it, uh, definitely it's uh, a concern that's being shared by many here in Mogadishu and also all across the country. You're talking about a militant group that carries out an average five attacks per day and not just in different regions of Somalia. Sometimes they even go beyond Somalia. They launch attacks even in a neighboring Kenya, especially in the northeastern region. So definitely it's a cause of concern for authorities here in Somalia. And the reporting itself, uh, Lindy, comes at a very critical time when first uh, African Union forces are due to gradually hand over security of uh, Somalia to the Somali National Armed Forces. So that itself is another major setback for the Somali uh, military here in Somalia and the fight against Al-Shabaab. But on many occasions, the president of Somalia, Mohamed Abdullah Farmajo, has termed the group as a very deadly militant organization whose main goal is to destroy Somalia and uh, the future of uh, young people here in Somalia. So the message in that research is that Somalia isn't doing uh, the right things in the fight against Al-Shabaab. And the message is it should go back to the drawing board and re-strategize with it, its partners look at some of the lessons learned and uh, better ways to address uh, the militant uh, uh, crisis here in Somalia. We understand that when Amisom came to Somalia in 2007, the Al-Shabaab group was just a ragtag militant organization. But now as Amisom is due to end the mission, it's being regarded as one of the deadliest terrorist organizations here in the continent, Lindy. Mm. And indeed, with an average of five attacks a day uh, in 2017, it's clear that this group is far from being weakened. Um, I mean, they're still deadly and they're still active within the country's population. Is this fear reflected on the ground? Well, Lindy, uh, for anyone who is, who's in Mogadishu here, the, the, an impending attack is always one thing that's on the mind of everyone in Mogadishu. Many are asking uh, in the back of their minds, when will the militants uh, uh, attack anywhere in uh, the city? The, the, the perception that people are used to living in an area where so much explosions take place the, to the fact that a small impact people will uh, run because they think it's an explosion. So that definitely is a cause of concern here in Somalia and a general fear. And one thing to note, uh, Lindy, is that uh, ever since 14th October, when uh, uh, the militant group used a truck laden with hundreds of kilograms of explosives to detonate a populated uh, downtown junction here in Mogadishu, many are, uh, are very, very afraid of uh, uh, heavy trucks. And that is why the government has uh, created a new approach here in Somalia. It has formed a stabilization force comprising of the military, the intelligence, the police uh, to be able to uh, strengthen uh, security. And they've put checkpoints uh, all across the city, especially towards areas where people enter Mogadishu from. So definitely it's a major concern for security forces. And on the other end, there are two uh, strategic junctions where vehicles, public transport vehicles are not allowed to go. That is the road that leads to the presidential palace and also the main road that leads to the country's international airport. But that again has not yet uh, uh, reduced the level of attack. Al-Shabaab has attacked those different checkpoints that lead to the presidential palace, the intelligence headquarters, as well as uh, the, uh, the national airport. So it's a big concern for authorities here in Somalia. And uh, the government says that they hope to take over the security of the country from Amazon by 2020. So how that 
plays out remains the biggest question here, Lindy. Indeed, it does. Thank you so much for that. Abdulaziz Bilo joining us there live from Mogadishu.